Hello. In this video, we will look at language variants and how you can use them to create a multilingual website in no time. My name is Jonathan, and I will be your guiding voice in this video. Language variants are a nice feature in Ombraco. It lets you create a multilingual website super easy with different languages. The first thing that you will notice in the content section is that you can see a drop down over here. In our case, we see we have both the English language and the Danish language enabled. If we go to the Danish language, we can see that it's grayed out and the name of the content node is encapsulated in parentheses. This is because the content node is not published just yet. So let's go ahead and try and create our home node in the Danish language. Go up here, say welcome. And as you can see, we can only translate the company address and the company phone at this time. When working with translating content, we have to decide which parts of our content node can be translated. This is something that the web administrator of your website will have set up, so you don't need to worry about it at all. So yeah, let's go ahead and put some text in here. In your name, tall it. And let's put in a new phone number. Boom, awesome. As we have learned in previous videos, we need to publish our content node. This is done by clicking save and publish down here. Here we can decide which language we want to publish. As you can see down here, the English language is already published. So let's go ahead and publish the Danish language. Great. Awesome. And now we have published both the English and the Danish home content node. Now let's say that we want to translate a longer, more complex page of our website. So for example, we want to translate the what we do page here. So let's go to it. And as you can see, it's a bit longer and more complex, so it may, might take more time to actually translate it. This is why we have made it possible to translate content nodes side by side with a feature that we have decided to call Split View. This is done to make it even easier for you to translate the content of your website. So you can enable Split View by first of all going to the naming area up here on our content node. And if you look at the right side, we can see that we have a drop-down menu again. If we click at it, we can see the languages that have been enabled for our website. So from here, we are able to open it up in split view and let's split it up with the English language here. Great. So as you can see, now we have the English language to our right and we have the Danish uh, language to our left side. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and start translating our content. First of all, let's uh, translate the title. Well, we layer. Let's quickly add some content here. Um, boom. And let's add some body text. Boom, boom, boom. Let's make these some headings here. Boom, boom, boom. Great. And let's add an image to our uh, page. Let's just add the Umbraco logo. And let's add some text. So we have the Umbraco CMS. Um, and uh, friendly, not that friendly. We're going to translate it to Danish, so we say Venli uh, and Umbraco 8. Awesome. So now we have translated our English language to Danish. As you can see here, we have the, the Danish translations. Now it's simply just to go and save and publish the content note as we did before. Great. So let's go ahead and do it. So now it's ready to be published. So let's go ahead and save and publish. Awesome. And this is how you can translate your content in Umbraco. Before we end this video, let's quickly go over some of the important points that we have gone through in this video. First of all, you can see which languages are available in the dropdown of the content section. And you can use Split View to easily translate your content notes side by side. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Jonathan.